I'm going to show you how to make a quick tree line in the background and that will have low polygon counts when you put it in the, the actual image. So first I started with a new image and I'm going to just make a... I don't want a sphere. I'm going to make a flat cube area. Bring the cube out. Zoom out here a little bit. Take the cube out. I want it to be relatively big. Bring it out here. Scale it out. Put it like that. Fit it within the field of view of the camera. No point making it any bigger than it needs to be. Okay, come down here and scale it down. So it's pretty flat. Okay, go zoom out a little bit more. And I want to give it some depth. scale some more so it fits within the field of view okay double click here I'm gonna make it an ecosystem and I'm going to just add some trees okay, add a few trees Add a fir tree. Add a rural maple. Po since it's done there, populate it. Let's see how it looks. That looks pretty good for what I'm trying to do. I think I'll yeah I'll just leave it like that. Okay so there's our tree line. Now what I'm gonna do is just do a quick render in here. Take it as the final render and we'll just do it to the screen render it. You'd do it at a higher resolution and, and do a better job if you were doing this for real. But this will just show how, how the thing works. Okay, there you'll notice I have a nice tree line. It could be thicker. If I was doing this for real, I'd probably make it thicker by increasing the distance here or making the density thicker but it'll work for these purposes. Now you also notice I've got almost three million polygons here. If I start adding things in the foreground that's going to add up an awful lot of polygons. This is a way to decrease the number of polygons in the scene. So I come in here and I just want to save this image. and I'll save it to the desktop. I'll call it trees. Okay, that looks good. I also want to see the alpha channel. Good. So I'm going to save that as well. You'll see where we'll use that. I create an object, an alpha plane. For the picture, I want to load from the desktop trees. And for the alpha image, 
I'm going to do the same thing, only I'll load the alpha channel from the desktop. Which is alpha. Make sure you have it the right way. That's the way you really want it. You want it so that the white is the transparent area. I'll say OK. I'll scale this up uniformly. So that it takes up the whole background area. Or maybe even a little bit bigger. And move it up and down until the trees just kind of lay on the horizon. Render this quickly. Okay, and there you have a pretty good looking backdrop. And notice we only have three polygons. If you're doing this for real image, I would move it up a little bit more so that it was on the horizon. I'd also render it at a much higher resolution so that it looked better. This, this looks a little blurry, but you get the idea on that. Another thing you have to be careful of, make sure you have the sunlight where you want it to be in the final image when you do the backdrop too because you want it to um, to look like the sun hit the trees in the background just like it hit the trees in the foreground and not one other thing you, if you wanted to thicken this up as well you could put another alpha plane a duplicate of this one right behind it move it back a little offset it to the left or the right and it would look like a whole nother stand of trees right behind it